In today's video, we're gonna cover the four supplements that are gonna help you out with insulin resistance. Now, you might be wondering, I'm not diabetic, does this matter? Absolutely it matters. Insulin resistance is a huge contributor to just about every disease, but also when it comes down to just controlling your weight and just getting in the best possible shape. So we'll cover a few things. We'll talk about asaxanthin, which is a really interesting antioxidant. Then we'll talk about a couple of very specific minerals. One of them, spoiler alert, is zinc, but you have to know how to use it. Okay. And then lastly, we're going to talk about another very unique mineral known as lithium, but it's very, very important that you know how to use lithium because it's still in its kind of embryonic stages when it comes down to the research regarding insulin resistance. Hey, I do wanna ask, you please do hit that red subscribe button and then hit the bell icon and select all notifications. We post videos every single day and I never want you to miss a beat. All kinds of amazing, cool content coming your way all the time. Also, after this video, check out Thrive Market down below in the description. They are super awesome. I've been able to create uh, hormone optimization bundles, fasting bundles, keto bundles, all different grocery bundles. So you can check out what Thomas would get at the grocery store and get it delivered right to your doorstep. So make sure you check them out after you watch this video in the description. Insulin resistance is where your body's cells do not do a good job processing glucose because there's not enough insulin to allow the sugar or the glucose into the cell. Now there's a myriad of different causes for this, but in this particular case, we're gonna focus on two big things that we can fix. Okay, one is called GLUT4 transportation. Okay, GLUT4 is a glucose transporter. Okay, so on our cells, what happens is glucose comes to the cell and glucose can't just magically enter the cell. We can't just like penetrate through a wall. It needs a shuttle bus and that shuttle bus is GLUT4. So it comes to the surface of a cell, picks up the glucose and then brings it into the cell. So it's a private little shuttle. Well, a lot of times if we're insulin resistant, we're not producing or utilizing our GLUT4 properly. So we're not turning on the shuttle. The shuttle driver just isn't coming to work. Okay, now the other piece that we wanna look at is one that's more complex, but I'm not gonna focus on it too much in this video because I want everyone to really understand this video. And this one is mitochondrial biogenesis. And the quickest way that I can describe this, the mitochondria is the energy powerhouse within your cell. So what that means is it's the factory that produces energy. Okay, so when you look at it from a dysfunctional issue, like someone that is type 2 diabetic or someone that has insulin resistance, it looks like this. Okay, imagine a factory that produces energy. That's your mitochondria. Okay, now imagine a conveyor belt that drives and brings all kinds of glucose and energy into the mitochondria to actually be processed for fuel. Okay, now imagine that that conveyor belt is moving so much sugar and so much actual energy that the factory can't deal with it. So it builds up, it builds up, it builds up on the conveyor belt. That's an exact example of what's happening with insulin resistance. Your body's not getting enough of the actual sugar and energy that's there because the cell won't let it in or the factory. So we need to improve the mitochondria. So now let's go ahead and let's get right into these four supplements and figure out how you can utilize them. Number one is astaxanthin. Astaxanthin is the antioxidant that gives salmon that pink pigment, okay? I'm not gonna go into a lot of the details of why it's pink and this and that. Point is, astaxanthin is powerful. 6,000 times more powerful than vitamin C in terms of antioxidant capabilities. Side note, vitamin C is amazing when you mega dose it. We're talking about antioxidant properties, not specific vitamin C properties here. So what it does is it improves beta cell function. So it improves the pancreas's ability to actually produce insulin in the first place, but then it also increases the glucose transporters. It increases that GLUT4 that allows the glucose to come into the cell. But there's an additional thing that it does that's really cool. It elevates something called PGC1A. Long story short, it's a genetic process. So basically PGC1A is a transcriptional cofactor that allows mitochondrial biogenesis to occur. So point is, it allows mitochondria to get stronger, the energy powerhouse to get stronger, and it also allows the mitochondria to produce more mitochondria. It goes through biogenesis, basically rebirthing of more mitochondria. More energy powerhouses, more factories, equals more energy output, but more importantly, equals more ability for the glucose to go in. More factories for more glucose to go in equals less blood sugar. Probably wondering how much to take? Well, the Asia Pacific Clinical Nutrition Journal found that eight milligrams for eight weeks made some pretty dramatic differences in visceral fat levels, triglyceride levels, and LDL levels, which are also related to, of course, insulin resistance. So if we're reducing insulin resistance, we're likely reducing those issues as well. So eight milligrams is usually about the going dose for astaxanthin. Okay, now let's move on to the next one, which is a really fun one, 
zinc. If you watch my channel a lot, you know I talk about zinc, but let's get right to the chase here. Zinc mimics insulin. Zinc ions actually bind to insulin receptors. So what that means is as far as the body's concerned, the body thinks that zinc is insulin. Well, how does it help us? Because it gives the pancreas a break. The pancreas doesn't have to keep pumping out insulin constantly because it gets zinc coming into the equation, giving it a little bit of a rest period, which believe it or not, if we allow the pancreas to rest, like reducing our carbohydrate intake for a while, studies have shown that insulin resistance improves. So zinc kind of gives us an artificial rest, if you want to call it that. Now in type two diabetics, there's a protein called amylin and amylin tends to clump up and block certain parts of the pancreas, uh, pancreatic cells, okay? So basically this amylin comes in and it forms these toxic clumps that makes it so that the cells aren't producing insulin. This is in type two diabetics, but also just in mildly insulin resistant people as well. Well, zinc breaks apart those clumps. Zinc binds to that protein amylin and makes it so that those clumps don't form. So the point is, zinc is very powerful at making it so that your body can utilize insulin and glucose again properly. All right, now let's move into one of my favorite ones of all time. This one is awesome because it can be used alongside a cheat meal too. It's chromium. It is a perfect excess carbohydrate mitigation mineral, let's call it that. And what I mean by that is chromium, you can take larger amounts of chromium if you wanted to. Okay, so chromium is going to help you metabolize carbohydrates because it literally helps bring more transporters to the surface of the cell. Okay, so imagine this, you've got a bunch of glucose coming out of cell and the cell only has one shuttle bus to bring glucose into the cell. Well, okay, you're gonna have a bunch of glucose piling up, high blood sugar. But what if you had 20 shuttles? Well, all of a sudden, all those people can get into the cell, right? All the glucose can get into the cell. All the people can get to the arena. That's what we're getting at. Chromium does that for us. That's what we want. But additionally, it also helps increase the potency of those glute force. So it basically makes the shuttle buses bigger. So what I usually recommend doing is if you're having a high carbohydrate meal, have 500 to 1,000 micrograms of chromium. But if you're someone that does a low carb diet and all of a sudden you have a bunch of carbohydrates, you might find your glucose tolerance isn't very high. So in that case, you might want to have like two, three, 4,000 micrograms of chromium. The good news is it's a mineral. If you have too much of it, you're just going to urinate it out. However, full disclaimer, I am not a doctor. So make sure you vet any of this out with your physician. Now, the last one that I'm going to talk about is one that's cutting edge, lithium orotate. Lithium, you may have just heard about lithium in the mental health world, okay? It's prescribed for depression, for some other uh, bipolar disorders and things like that. And it's very effective at that. It is a mineral and you can get it over the counter, but I would only recommend taking about five milligrams, okay? Low dose lithium orotate has been shown to increase glucose uptake, but specifically been studied in the diabetes journal in skeletal muscle. So this is great because skeletal muscle is where most of our glucose metabolism needs to occur anyway, okay? Our muscles use a lot of glucose. But if you're someone that's active and works out, then this is an extra little hack for you because you can utilize lithium to help increase the glucose that your cells and your muscles utilize, helping you recover a little bit faster. So kind of a fun little fact there. So five milligrams of lithium. Another little fun fact to add for those science nerds that are out there. If you go down some rabbit holes with what's called WNT signaling and LRP5 pathways and downstream pathways, I'm getting nerdy, but hear me out. You can also find some somewhat inconclusive, but still promising research that LRP5 activation via lithium supplementation could make it so you burn more fat around the abdomen. So basically, if we normally would burn fat all over the body, we could potentially isolate the abdomen a little bit better. I have other videos on that, so I'll spare you the details. So as always, please do make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Please hit that little bell icon down below so you never ever miss our daily videos and have epic, epic content. And one of the things that I wanna make sure everybody knows, if you put comments down below with ideas for videos, we do review those. So it gives us an opportunity to see, hey, what do people wanna see? And that way we can develop amazing content. This way you get everything that you could possibly want for your own personal coaching system, no matter what direction. So as always, keep it locked in and I'll see you tomorrow.